Hi guys, welcome to my channel. All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to link a Google document into your virtual classroom and to send it out so that each student gets their own copy without being able to edit your work. So right here, my students are going on a virtual field trip to the zoo. All the animals are linked to a video. Once they have finished their trip, I want them to give me a written response using Google Documents. So right here, I've already created my response page. Make sure that you have your sharing set to anyone on the internet can find and edit your work, okay? So I'm gonna go and copy my link and then I'm gonna click on my image to attach my link. And paste, apply. All right, so to make it so that the students cannot edit my work, I'm gonna turn it into a PDF file. So file, download, PDF document, and it's saved into my Google Drive. So I'm gonna to go to my classroom, uh, create assignments, give it a title, and then I'm going to attach my Google, my um, PDF documents. All right, you can see right here, it's the PDF version. So that's the one I'm going to attach and change it so that each student gets a copy. Make a copy for each student and assign. All right, so now I'm going to show you what the students will see on their end. Okay, so this is me logged in as a student. I'm going to refresh the page to get the latest work that I just assigned. All right, so here it is right here. And there's the assignment. As you can see, it's a PDF file. All right, and here's my trip to the zoo. As you can see, my cursor changes to a hand to show me that all my links are still there. Once they finish, they will go and insert their response. All right, so this step they will not do, but since I'm logged in as both a teacher and a student, it's switching me back and forth. So I'm going to switch back to my student. Um, Gmail. Again, the students will not have to do this, but I'm logged in as both student and teacher, so it's switching me back and forth. All right, so here I am as a student as, again, and as you can see, I have highlighted, um, it's just telling me who I'm signing as. Again, students won't have to do that. Um, again, I have it highlighted to make a copy, so they're going to make their own copy, file, make a copy, so they, they have their own, their own version to turn in. So they're making a copy. I'm still logged in as a student. And then I'm going to write my response. I learned zebras have stripes. Okay. And it's automatically saved into their drive. So all I have to do now is go to back to my classroom. This is me as a student still. All right back to my classroom to find my assignment. And there it is. And then I'm going to add my response that I just did. Again, this is me as a student. And there's my copy of my work. It's uploading and then I just turn it in. Okay, so um, that's how you add a Google document into your classroom and how you can send it to each student so that they get their copy. I have these virtual field trips in my Teachers Pay Teacher store. They're all edible. I have a zoo, I have an ocean, I have a farm, and I created a STEM lab. They're all on my Teachers Pay Teachers page, which will be linked down in the description to where you can find it. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.